Hi, my name is Stan Schofield, and I'm the owner of Schofield Sports Performance. I want to take a few minutes of your time today and talk to you a little bit about some of the summer camps that we're going to be offering at Chevers High School this summer. Now, what I can tell you is this is not going to be an advertisement for our services. As a father of two boys who are very athletic and also understanding that their time is valuable. There's so many different things that they can do. So the, it is very important that you're educated about the whys and hows of any camp that you're thinking about potentially signing up for. So here goes. So I'm an athletic trainer and strength conditioning coach with over 20 years of experience in injury prevention, injury assessment, rehabilitation, and sports performance development of athletes from seven years old all the way up to the professional level. Now, over that time, I've developed a philosophy of really developing high caliber athletes and making them resistant to injury, and here it is. If you think about athletic performance at the individual level, really what I think the best way to look at it is, is in the shape of a pyramid. And this pyramid, all right, and really as it relates to your peak, as you grow and mature and develop over age, this pyramid should grow bigger. Now, if you're going to make any pyramid bigger, the best place to start is with a foundation. Now, your foundation as an athlete, what makes us a great athlete isn't whether we can kick and pass and catch. What really separates us are these attributes, right? And this, these are things that you already know, right? Strength. Speed. Power. Agility. Nutrition, flexibility, but probably most important, self-confidence. If I have high levels of these elements right here, my potential as an athlete skyrockets. And if you look around at the athletes that are really good, whether it's at Chevrolet High School or in professional sports, they have high levels of these attributes right here, right? And here's the thing. If you have high levels of this stuff right here, you're not just going to be successful in one sport. You're going to have success in multiple sports. Look at all great athletes. Ryan Flaherty. Ryan Flaherty was the captain of his football team, played basketball, and drafted in the Major League Draft, right? Tom Brady. Tom Brady, not only the greatest quarterback of our time, but also was drafted in Major League Baseball. And I could go on and on and on, but if you look around at some of the best athletes, even just now in high school, they're not just great at one sport, they're great at a number of sports because they have high levels of this as well. So once we've developed the foundation, then what we really want to work on is the skill of the sport. And here's where we get a little bit backwards. And most of the time, we work on the skill of the sport, the passing, the dribbling, the kicking, right? But the problem is, is unless you have high levels of physical fitness, this becomes way harder, right? And really, you know this. Like, when you're in shape, how much easier is it for you to do the activities that you want to do, right? Whether it's, it's way easier to play golf, tennis, go hiking, go do almost any activity that you enjoy, we have a lot better time doing that when we're actually in shape. But also, when we're in shape, how great do we feel? How much does it impact us in our self-confidence? So, if you want to have high levels of skill, have high levels of these areas right here. And most coaches will tell you this, right? They would rather be able to teach a skill to somebody that has really great physical attributes. So once I've got the foundation and then I work on the skill, the last area is really the strategy. Oh, spelled that wrong. And that's all your offense, your defense, the history of the game, your statistics, where a lot of kids end up spending a lot of time here as well. So that's our philosophy. For us, we really start, teach, and emphasize developing your athletic foundation. And with these camps, the other beauty of it is you're teaching them the lifelong lesson about the importance of physical fitness and how to do it properly. So the offerings that we're going to have this summer at Shervis High School are these. 
The first is a strength conditioning camp, and it has two different sessions. These sessions run Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And the first session is from 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning. And that is meant as more of a foundational or an introduction to weight training. This is for the athlete that has little to no experience in the weight room and really needs to learn about what are the fundamental lifts, how to perform them with the proper technique, how to establish their starting weights, and how to read, record, and follow a weight training program. Again, this is a great place to start if your athlete has no experience in the weight room. The second camp we're offering is an advanced weight training class. And this is meant for the athlete that does have some experience, whether they've worked out in the past with a personal trainer, down at the OA Performance Center, and a really comfortable read, recording, and following a weight training program can perform a proper squat, deadlift, bench press, chit up, lunge patterns, that sort of thing. This is what's, this is meant for them as it's going to really progress them to the next level as we work from dumbbells all the way up to the Olympic lifts. That camp again is from 8.30 in the morning to 9.30 in the morning on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The second camp that we're running is a speed and conditioning camp. And what we do here is teach the basic tenets and movement skills related to speed. And not just linear speed, forward and backward, but multi-directional speed. How to cut, how to plant, how to accelerate, decelerate, and re-accelerate in almost any direction. Speed is a skill and there are certain mechanics associated with it. And if you perform those right, you'll be able to maximize your performance on the field. The thing about it is a lot of kids never really learn that, but it's a requirement in almost every sport. Not only are we going to teach them how to maximize their speed, but most importantly, we're going to teach them how to decelerate properly. If you look at it from an injury prevention standpoint, where most injuries occur on the field, it's from lack of proper mechanics and decelerating, whether we tear our ACL that way or roll our ankle. And we really emphasize this technique throughout the entire camp process. In addition to teaching the mechanics of speed, we also, at the end, invoke a cardiovascular fitness to finish off the session. The goal of this is to get athletes in great physical shape so that when they report for fall sports, the coaches can go right into the skill of their sport and really and be able to work from there. So again, it's a good all-encompassing camp for those athletes that want to get a great basis of conditioning as well as speed. So again, that's an overview of the camps that we'll be running. If you need more information and want to contact me directly, my email address is stan at schofieldperformance.com. Again, stan at schofieldperformance.com. And to register directly, you just go to schofieldperformancecamps.com. Again, schofieldperformancecamps.com. Thank you for your time today, and I look forward to working with your son or daughter in the future. Thanks.